Hello and welcome to Tedia's World, where we've got lots of trendy skins and pop culture references, such as Doctor Who and Star Trek and video games. Well, today on Pepe's World, we're going to be showing you how to make something with absolutely fucking nothing out of something much more expensive, like an Arduino or an FPGA. Fuck off. We're hackers, not fucking bullshit pop sci fucking bullshit. This is Pepe's World, the show for computer hackers and an electronics enthusiast with no money and no friends. Well, today on Pepe's World, we will be learning how to make a spectrum analyzer. That's right, something you probably can't afford, but we'll be making it out of shit that you probably can afford. And ain't that half the fucking point? All right, so uh, yeah, okay. Well, spectrum analyzers, you know, uh, are basically mostly just an ADC and, uh, well, software, really. Uh, you know, oscilloscope slash, uh, uh, you know, EFT bullshit. Now, um, you uh, might be interested to know that uh, computer sound cards are actually pretty damn good at, uh, with an audible range stuff, you can actually go down pretty damn fucking well, to be fair. So your spectrum analyzer that you will be making today, uh, only works in, aud in the audible range, really, or unless you've got like a good, really good audio interface that, you know, sound card that goes up higher than that, say like up into, you know, sampling rates of like 96k or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically the gist of it. We're making something that goes into your sound card. Uh, but, uh, Pepe, I don't want to be putting in like massive high volts and shit into my, uh, my sound card. Well, not, 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 not to fucking fear. Um, it's a high impedance input, right? So it shouldn't really fucking give two shits, right? It doesn't want much current, right? Um, so what about the high voltages and stuff? Wow, that's where we get into the topic of AC <coughs> coupling. Right? What's AC coupling? Well, Pepe's gonna show you some theory. Okay, right, so uh, let's uh, check uh, out some uh, theory here, right? Uh, waves can, um, you know, in theory and in, in practice, can technically be described as a composite of multiple sine waves, right? So uh, let's just say you have a wave that looks like this, right? The big low frequency wave. And you uh, also have, on the other hand, you know, in your other pocket, you've got this wave, wave that's just fucking this teeny wincy wincy weedy guy, but he has fucking, you know, he's, he's really high frequency. If you add those two waves together, you end up with this, right? A big high frequency wave with little wiggles in it. Well, what the fuck does that mean for us, Pepe? Well, just for you, stupid head, if we're putting in something which is you know, high voltage and has some, you know, some un unusual frequencies in it that we want to identify, uh, the waveform might look like this, right? You know, with your high frequencies up there and, you know, it's like displaced, say, I don't know, by like 100 volts or something stupid like that. Well, what that means is we know that this, this waveform here is a composite of this waveform and this waveform here. So, it means that we can take, if we take out this component, if we subtract this out, then all we are left with is the small wiggles, right? How do you do that? Well, capacitors don't let uh, DC go across them, right? They only do AC, which is exactly that. So, uh, yeah, so what you do is you just put a, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's draw it. Okay, right, wow. See, this is our angry thing that we want to test, right? He he produces signals, right? And uh, the uh, the 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 signal that he that he most likely will output, if it's something you know like a power supply, for example, who he's uh, got his DC offset shit like that. Uh, if we have the signal going through a capacitor, what that means is um, the DC and the AC is going to go through here, you know, just the, just the signal as it is. Once it reaches here, all of the DC will be stripped off. There'll be no DC going past this point. So, and this side here will have the, uh, you know, will 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 we'll have the fucking uh, signal as it is. But then after it, after it's through here, we'll just have the AC wiggles, right? And uh, yeah, now what have we got here? Okay, um, this isn't the signal for symbol for a resistor, but it is a resistor because I 
draw it wrong. Um, it's a huge fucking resistor. The one that I put in was 14 mega ohms. Is the uh, the biggest one that I fucking had, and um, and the idea was that it, it um it means that if um this guy here isn't connected to anything, right? He's just flapping around the breeze like a like a like a like a an, a, an uncle uh, that you don't want around. Uh, then uh, it means that there is still a path for this down into ground. I should probably you know mention that that's positive and that's negative. Um, so that that means that um, that uh, you know. You know, you're not going to be. It's not an antenna. You know, you don't want a fucking antenna, but you also don't want it going straight to ground. Um, and the reason it's such a huge ass capacitor it means that, that that connection there is wimpy as fuck. It's the most wimpiest fucking thing ever. It means anything you get from here can completely override it. So um, yeah, so that that's kind of how you get around that problem. Now there is one other problem that that uh, is very fucking important. It's all very well and good getting rid of these high voltages like that, but what happens if you're, um, you know, your you, you, you little wiggle spikes are like this, and then you go fucking massive like that? Well, that fucking massive like that will go right into your sound card, right? And you don't want that shit. So, um, yeah, so what you do is you put in protection diodes. One diode going like this way, and another diode going uh, the other way. Did I draw that right? Yeah, I did. Dun, dun. Now, these diodes here, what happens is that they'll, they'll effectively do nothing, right? They'll do nothing until a voltage gets to a certain level. And what they'll do is they'll start conducting at a certain level. And um, say, for example, when uh, this fuck off spike comes through, what will happen is it'll get clipped here. And this voltage range is, you know, normally of like 0 0.6 volts, 0 0.3 volts, whatever. You just want to pick a, a, a value there that's actually quite huge. Um, and on the top of my head, I can't fucking think of, uh, of, uh, which value to use. Just fucking find one on, you know, well, it doesn't even fucking matter really, cause it's, you know, you, you know, you'd be more interested in like measuring the small shit anyway half the time. So, uh, oh god, man, it stinks. Alright, so anyway, uh, yeah, let's fucking build this thing, motherfucker. Building stuff with your shit off. You need a Faraday cage. Uh, I made one out of a biscuit tin, right? And the reason I made one out of a biscuit tin was that most of the sides already conduct. So, um... Oh, no, my fucking resistors. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, yeah, so, um... So, yeah, um, so that made meant that I only really had to do one on edge. But, um, what you can do is you get tin foil. And, uh, what I suggest doing is actually, um, just getting tin foil and just gluing it to a sheet of paper first. Uh... That way it's actually pretty robust and strong and you can manipulate it without fucking around too much. Um, now I made sure that the size of the, the paper actually fucking went all the way around and actually was slightly larger than the tin, right? And um, now what you're also going to need to do is get some audio jacks, right? I showed you, oh fuck, I just ran over my foot. Ah! Anyway, uh, is to get some audio jacks for here. Uh, now... You've got a decent, you know, decent sound uh, interface. You could probably get away with a uh, TS jack like this, right? Uh, or if you've just got a piece of shit laptop, you might need to use one of these. Um, get the fuck out of there. Um, get use one of these guys here. Um, this this has got the microphone and the speakers on it, right? And um, just wire into the microphone one, right? Just do that. Um, otherwise, you know, just just go for your uh, your standard mini jack shit, whatever. If you've just got a PC, right? Um, shit will be all right. Um, the idea is that you get the uh, the ground terminal, this, and you you hook that into the case, right? Um, yeah, you should probably really do that. Uh, did I do that? Yes, I did do that. Uh, for me, uh, going through the bolt here is what takes the grounded it to the case. Right, and uh, yeah, so, alright. Yeah, I couldn't be fucked showing you how to build it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter how you build it, you can you, you can build it in a thousand different ways uh, for, from what I'm doing it, so it doesn't really matter. But what I thought I'd show you now is the software side of it, right? Uh, and that's important. Now, um, I know that there is a plenty of, um, you know, signal analysis software tools out, out there and stuff, um, but <laughs> to be honest, the best I've found so far out of all this shit is actually Reaper, the digital audio workstation, and for mixing music and stuff. And the reason for that is because uh, it comes with a shit ton of um, 
uh, audio manipulation shit, right? And uh, including spectrum analyzers and oscilloscopes and yeah. And um, so here we are. We have got some shit coming in, right? Now, uh, what the hell is this? Well, I'm measuring this bullshit DC to DC power supply boost buck converter that uh, my friend got off um, uh, AliExpress. Shout out to Mike D. And uh, yeah, and he asked me to test it for noise. Now, but of course, this is a audio and shit, right? So what you're going to see is you're going to see shit measured in decibels, right? Which is, is actually pretty reasonable considering the massive dynamic ranges that we'll be dealing with. Massive dynamic range. Massive dynamic ranges. Massive dynamic range. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how do you how do you translate negative seventy two decibels to uh, to a voltage? Get your multimeter, plunk it onto there, and let's say it's uh, I don't know five volts or something, right? This is just going to be uh, 72 decibels below 5 volts, which if you work it out on your calculator, um, you can figure that out, which I will not do right now. However, uh, a good indication is that, uh, what is it, like every 6, six decibels, it, um, it halves the signal, or the, yeah, every 20 decibels, it goes down 10 times. So, uh, yeah, you know, log logarithmic scale, yada, yada, yada. Now, okay, check this out, motherfucker. What I'll do is I will turn the trim pot on this DC to DC converter, which changes uh, all this oscillation and shit that's going on. And um, we can quite clearly get a signal out of it, which is uh, a good example of a cool shit that you can do with just using your sound card. Look at this. Look at all of this crazy shit, right? And this is the this is the bonus of a spectrum analyzer over an oscilloscope. If you look at the oscilloscope, you're going to see this, right? And um, this could come from many sources. I mean, well, look at it. It's pretty obvious that something's going on there. I mean, you can do shit like, oh, you know, re-trigger it or whatever. But you don't get the beautiful fucking information that you get out of a spectrum analyzer like this. And the cool thing about it with being a uh, digital audio workstation is you can listen to it. No, just kidding. I can talk. Uh... I don't like those sounds, they're scary. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm Pepe, and uh, this is Pepe as well, the show for electronics enthusiasts and computer hackers with no money and no friends. Raspberry Pi, Arduino, YouTube, 3D printers and drones. Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, there was one really, really important thing I forgot to mention. Uh, shield the fucking cables. Shielded cables all the way through. If you don't have shielded cables, then all you're going to do is pick up 50 hertz hum, and it's shit. You don't, you, you, you don't want that. Anyway, 